Good morning guys, how are we all doing? Happy happy hump day everybody, happy Wednesday, hope you guys are all well. I am Dan from Trading with Dan, this is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we shall go over to those fun looking 4 hour charts. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin on on Z4 hour. Um, as you can see, as you can see, we had a had a nice little uh, pump up, a nice little scam whip wick scam wick on this candle. Uh, not necessarily a scam wick, but you know, a little liquidity hunt to the upside. Had a nice rally up to actually, uh, well, actually deep into deep into the 6200s here, um, above this horizontal level. Obviously, looking like we could potentially get some uh, con some continuation to the upside, and then absolutely slammed back down slammed slammed down into what is pretty much our um our more important level of of support our more important level support area if you want to have a, just a quick look at the uh at the width at the length sorry of that four hour candle in percentage terms uh yeah seven seven percent from top to bottom so this is uh this is the market that we uh we operate in um but yeah but basically um at the moment as it stands we are potentially gonna uh trade sideways within this range 57 58 to the bottom side uh 67 000 to the obviously i just our, our previous all-time high or our all-time high and um, to the upside um maybe maybe we do uh lose this in which case we then will um most likely most likely come down towards 52 53 000 but i know i know a lot of people are looking for um you might look at this as a as a head and shoulders um i mean if you kind of do is this the neckline for you um well pretty much and we are below that so that would uh that would you would have thought would get us through this with this support area but um yeah we shall see head and head and shoulders aren't necessarily the best the best formations um because they can just uh, be just sideways price action they can be just a uh, disguised sideways price action just operating within the sideways range uh, but nonetheless this is an important uh, support area um, a sport area that I did think we would probably have to come down and test. I didn't really realistically think 60,000 um, was going to be uh, deep enough um, or important enough. Um, but yes, and as a case of does this hold now, do we turn around, do we base around here, maybe a couple of wicks below um, and yeah, and then uh, make our way back towards uh the top of the range um we shall see or or do we lose it and then come back and we we'll come back and ultimately grind our way not necessarily in one candle uh but ultimately grind our way down to the low 50s if we want to have a look at our good old uh, ethereum uh satoshi pairing it did it did get a nice move up um nice move up to um uh, above this uh, resistance level obviously struggling with bitcoin um being a bit wild uh this morning um but um is nonetheless looking constructive looking good looking bullish um looking like this can start to now uh well i mean this trend to the downside looking like we can start to reverse it and continue to uh the upside uh to potentially um, new highs relative to these highs here. Um, obviously, Bitcoin needs to um, needs to decide what it's doing at the moment and stabilize for this to potentially start to accelerate. But if we do have a look at Ethereum in dollar value, not that we really look at it too much in dollar value. Um, obviously, we went down to this low, but the main thing is that we are above four thousand, which I think is quite a psychological level um, for. Um, um, for Ethereum, um, I think some of you guys may remember a, a week or so ago when Bitcoin was going nuts and Ethereum was just stuck around 3,800, and I was like, "This is just kind of Ethereum not even get to 4,000." Um, but it's nice to see now Bitcoin probably like about $8,000 off that high, 8,000 or so dollars from the high, and Ethereum still uh, managed to hold above $4,000, which is clearly uh, a good sign. Um, it is obviously indicative; it's, it's just indicative of obviously this chart. Uh, this move here is basically what we are talking about but um yeah nonetheless uh nonetheless it might have, it wants to load up again uh nonetheless usd pairing uh holding above here um and yeah i mean ultimately try and take out this high uh, and then continue onwards to 8k eoy um of which it has <coughs> <coughs> of which it has just over two months to do um 
putting like an actual set time time scales like that is is just uh, it's just basically just uh, just hype realistically but whenever um, we kind of um, do get a good move move up into Ethereum, even if it is, uh, even if it takes a bit longer than the year, maybe it's in January, maybe it's in February. But either way, I do think that is our ultimate goal, and then potentially higher. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Ten year, um, ten year easing off a bit here, as you can see. Uh, but um, obviously, got this trend line, which it hasn't taken out yet. But if it does. And then uh, we could potentially see some that some more downside, so we'll just draw it in um, for the time being. Um, still quite <laughs> quite far away from that. Um, let's get rid of this. Um, still quite far away from that trend line, though. Um, we can potentially, I mean, just for the sake of uh, <laughs> just drawing some horizontal lines, we'll just draw one up here as well. Um, <coughs> the, the more importantly, the the dollar index. Um, putting up a fight here doesn't want to go out for the count at the moment, but um, still overall not looking uh, constructive to the upside. Uh, looking like um, still looking like we could uh, we could um, come and come lower, but um, yeah, I mean maybe I'm just uh, imprinting my bias on this, but um, yeah, clearly for the time being this bullish bias action has been negated. I mean maybe we do continue on onwards and upwards. Um, we shall well we shall have to see uh, Bitcoin dominance as well have a look at that obviously in, in light of um, in light of Bitcoin's uh, uh, shenanigans this morning um, clearly having a nice pullback it did break below an important level but yes yeah, slam back up but if Bitcoin stabilizers start to drift back up I expect we will have the resumption in in the altcoin party uh stocks um kind of yeah kind of stalling out of these highs I mean we will have a pullback at some point but that will just be a a um sorry by the dip opportunity um probably um and then we'll just continue onwards and upwards um in our in our in our crack up boom um what else do i want to look at not too much not too much on there um to uh, be honest um let's have a look at stochastics then um we do kind of know they were mixed um uh, and we're kind of indicating uh just sideways which uh, we at the moment this is still sideways i believe within this wider range obviously if you break below here we'll see some more serious downside but um um but yeah the four hour um coming down still got room to run um <coughs> the 10 hour is obviously going to be pointing down and when it starts to load um yeah just turning over turning down from here um from obviously had this this move up but turning down again uh, so obviously downward pressure from that one same with the 12 hour um pointing down again from quite a low level though uh daily is still coming down um it's still coming down on the daily as well two day just turning down from my high levels three day also five days still pointing up weekly just about still pointing up week by weekly and monthly looking uh look still looking quite good um, so I mean, again, I just refer to revert to what I've been saying. I'm expecting uh, a sideways range uh, to be established. Uh, this is the uh, the the my first best guess of um, of the lower side of that range, but we shall have to see uh, what happens here on in. Um, but failing that, failing that, then yeah, 52, 53,000 is a pretty um, is is a uh, pretty reasonable level for us to come down to consolidate and then. Um, start to move back up which um was obviously i know that's a large move down and i'm saying our sideways consolidation but then if you want to take a step back and look at the move from say 40,000 to 60 uh, 66,000 67,000 i mean uh, a pullback to there is kind of um it's still kind of a consolidation within that wider range but like i said i'm more looking for a range at these highs cuz um i just think we are in a in a bullish uh, scenario where maybe we struggle to get uh, down that low uh, but we shall see because there are market participants um, who uh, are basically waiting, expecting us to get down here. You never know what kind of shenanigans those these evil market manipulators might pull to try and get us down there. But um, yeah, so yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just uh, it's just another episode in the in the Bitcoin in the Bitcoin saga. Uh, in the Bitcoin soap opera so uh, yeah there you go guys remember this is not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and I shall speak to you guys soon